everyone! Today I'm going to make pineapple cookies. If you haven't been here before, my name is Shana and this is Shana Shows You Stuff. Thanks for joining me today. I love the vintage recipes, the ones that are so good you have to write down on a piece of paper and give it to a friend. And today that's what I'm going to make. I have not tried this recipe before. I found it at an estate auction, this lovely pile of uh, handwritten recipes and I've been collecting the handwritten recipes that our, our, you know, our moms and grandmoms have passed down. So today we're going to make pineapple cookies and that's one of these recipes. I'm going to start with one cup of shortening. I will provide the full recipe in the link below or in the comments I guess. It'll be below. I've pre-measured everything and I'm going to uh, do it all in my kitchen. So, one cup of shortening, one cup of packed brown sugar, one cup of white sugar. Oops, a little shortening get away. And we're going to cream that together. Alright, that seems to be kind of creamed now. I'll let you have a look at it. Maybe if I can. <laughs> there we go. So you can see that's all creamed together. I probably won't be able to show you after this because we're going to be adding some other ingredients. Um, at least not until I'm done anyway. There we go. So the next ingredient is one cup of crushed pineapple. I drained it. It didn't say whether to drain it or not, and that is the problem with these recipes because not everything is, is actually given to you. Um, two eggs. I don't have a date for when this recipe um, was written down. I'm going to guess that it was probably 60s. We'll see. So I'm going to cream that together. There we go. All right. And next we add the dry ingredients. And the recipe actually said to sift them all together. I don't have that kind of time or energy in my life. So I have four cups of flour. And I'm going to add to that one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of baking powder. And my version of sifting it together is gonna to be to add my whisk and just kinda stir it all in together. I think that helps to distribute the uh, smaller amounts of items like the salt and the baking soda and the baking powder in the flour. And it also helps loosen the flour up so it's not so heavy. There we go. I'm just going to dump that in with the, uh, the mixture I already have. Oh, wait. <laughs> in the recipe, it also listed vanilla. That was it. There was no amounts. There was no when to add. So I have chosen to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm actually going to do it right now and give it a quick stir um, before I add the flour and stuff. So let's, let's do that. I don't know if the vanilla was an afterthought on the recipe. Or maybe that person didn't like vanilla. <laughs> I found it really funny though that it was the only thing. It was listed in the ingredients, but that was the only mention of it. So we're going to add it. We're going to add our four cups of flour, and I've already mixed in the baking soda, salt, and baking powder. Let's give this a mix. I'm going to start on slow so I don't get flour everywhere. This is a relatively quick and easy recipe from, from the way it read, and in a moment we're going to add some nuts once I get this kind of started to mix in. It's not wet at all though. I'm wondering if I should have... It gets pretty dry. I'll just take a piece of it. Like, look how dry that is. We're going to drop it by teaspoonfuls. Well, let's go with it. Um, we'll try it next time with more liquid if we need to. Right, I'm going to throw the nuts in now. So that was a quarter cup of chopped nuts. It didn't say what kind of nuts, so I am using almonds because I think almonds are the best nut for cookies. 
And my husband doesn't like walnuts, so what do you do? He's probably going to eat the most of these, so I might as well cater to him. All right. And we're done. So now I'm just going to scoop this by teaspoonfuls onto the baking sheet. Okay. I have my baking sheet. And I've got my spatula to get this off. You can see like how thick this really is, right? Actually, let's just push, push this whole machine out of the way. There we go. Oh my goodness. I have to tell you, this smells delicious. Uh, I do think you're probably going to need to like pineapple for this recipe since there's so much in it. But, oh, oh it smells. I wish you could be here. I can't wait to smell these baking. They are going to be so good. I'm typically not a huge cookie person. This might change me. So I just want to take show you. Here's my ingredients all mixed up, my batter. And we are just going to take this handy dandy scoop and a teaspoon at a, it's about a teaspoon. Well, actually, it's probably a tablespoon. Really, the, the, it says a teaspoon at a time. Like, who has time for a teaspoon? I'll just hold this up so you can see. So I'm literally just, oops, harder with one hand, scooping it out and putting it here. I'm gonna place them about this far apart and then put them in the oven. And the other thing about this recipe is it didn't give me a temperature for the oven. So I've got my oven set to 350 and they go in for 10 minutes. And uh, I will meet you in a moment once these come out of the oven. So here they are, fresh out of the oven. It has been 10 minutes. Check them out. They look beautiful. Of course, they're really hot right now. So I'm going to set them on a cookie rack to cool off. And then we're going to try one. Uh, if you try this recipe at home, let me know. I can't wait to hear how you make out. Or if you have a favorite passed down recipe that had to be written um, out and shared with everybody in the family and friends, then please feel free to share it with me and uh, I, will, I will cook it up. We'll see how it goes. All right, I really want this to cool in time so I can taste it. Mm, it smells good. I don't think it was uh, too dry actually in the end. So hopefully you can focus on this. We'll break it. It's obviously hot still. <laughs> um, I am a little pressed for time, so we're just going to try this hot today. Hot cookies. Mm -hmm. This is good. It's, um, well, it's warm, but the nut is a nice flavor in it. I don't think I would make it without the nut. The pineapple is subtle. The vanilla comes through. Almost like a chocolate chip cookie, but only sweeter and kind of better. Like if you don't like chocolate chip cookies, but you like the chocolate chip cookie dough, I think you'll like this. Mm. Delicious. So please follow, like, share, comment, whatever you want. Um, I appreciate it no matter what you do. So cheers to you guys. I hope you enjoy.